everyone let's we'll start uh, let's go we'll go through hello for learning outcome for as you know me my name and sata during our lesson 1 2 and 3 we discuss about you know internal external environment we discuss about types of ownership we discuss about potter generic strategy we discuss about potter five forces and we discussed in the previous lesson you know what are the best and best forces and we discuss about business life cycle boom uh, recovery maturity declines and we had a discussion about these all you know today lesson which will be focus about internal uh, strengths weaknesses specific business uh, interrelation with the external micro factors that will be the key which will focus and we wish you know we'll achieve this and uh, we discuss already introduction and indicative content to the lesson key focus will be swat uh, what is the s stand for set train and w is the weaknesses which is your internal this is known as the internal environment ot is external which come from outside that's you know it's not in your control and when we'll say toes metric which is quite opposite then yes so weaknesses set train and technology uh, threats and opportunities so those we can look around we differentiate we look the commercial viability of the business any launching new product we can use it bcg metric which is boston consultant group metric which is look around the product uh, portfolio metrics also is good to reflect and we can develop the strategies we can look around unsuf metrics and we can look around for the generic strategy Okay, all will be in our discussion. Welcome, everyone. What's your current knowledge about SWOT, the trends, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats? So, please, it's good to be. You reflect what we know. Okay, so let's move to the next. micro environment micro analysis is connected to get overview about the political economic social technological legal environmental the factor are not specific for the company but provide the broader pictures about about the market the company and maybe aiming to enter and already operate the factor are inter interrelated for example chain in the government with the with the conservative approach likely to be bring more taxes and restriction and multinational corporation pro labels government might supporting the labels and try to be serve their demand economic condition provide you know the growth prospect of the business organization growth in the economy may be reflect through improved social economic state okay and technology development is like to be get you know the most the case the government open the door for multinational corporation uh, manufacturing in this uh, units industries and improve the balance of payment and condition and replacing you know all technologies and moving to toward the new technology we can look around the state powers and the role and becoming the least important because the trade agreement liberalization and the you know so we had a discussion in the previous lesson as well we can look around past political stability taxes economic position inflation rate per capita income social factors society is going towards you know the trend and religious beliefs and technology ai artificial intelligence machine learning blockchain and these all the technology analytics which we can look around strategic choices the choice is typically followed by the strategic analysis is based upon following three elements generation of the strategic option the growth acquisition diversification and concentrations evaluations of options which we can look around relatively merits and feasibility okay so if we need to be look around the feasibility of the business in the line with the with the internal and external environment so we can launch the product you know that bring the benefit you know advantages to organization which we need to be really focused influenced by the value and the managers which we can deciding the scope and direction which we can look around you know that's we need to be we need to be focused yeah the strategy which we can is action plan 
we can develop it organic growth or joint ventures and the merges if you want to go in the international market. Strategic choices is the key step, you know, with the strategic planning. We can look at on strategic analysis, strategic choices, strategic choices, yeah. So that's, you know, all generation strategic options, growth, acquisition, diversification. And we can diversify. Don't put all eggs in one basket. We can look around unsubmetric. Uh, we have a four strategies which we can look around market development, market penetration, product development and diversification. So we can look around these unsub metrics as well to explore about these choices, which we'll go through. Johnson and School, one of the great scholars had mentioned, you know, when you do look around the suitability, acceptability and feasibility. Yes. So whether the option are adequate, the response to the firm's assessment, uh, consider whether the option meet the consistent with the firm's objective, and feasibility assess if it has resources need to be carried out the strategy. Yeah, because and ultimately this bring the competitive advantage. Okay, as we mentioned, SWOT analysis provide is quite wonderful tools which we can use for various purposes and for the company's strength weaknesses are we call area of development and we can look around capabilities and competency, opportunities and threats, you know, all. So external analysis, opportunities and threats, which which is we can look around internal strength and weaknesses. We can do score and on the basis of scoring, we can decide, you know, which one we want to go ahead or not, or we hold, you know, or we launch the product. So differing the relatively term of competitors, competitors leave out, you know, the areas that the organization fire uh, with them. So we can look around opportunities and thread identify using the analytical tools explaining which we can look on the chapter two of the book, you know, which I we mentioned in the book is a given. Focus on the opportunities and the thread relevant to the specific organization industries and summarize the results. Yes, and the conclusion and the SWOT and generate, you know, and those metrics which we can. Okay, guys, so what we can do, we can measure it, you know, so you can look around SO. SO is the strategic option. You are strong outside is the opportunity that can be ideal situation to do business and we call it a maxi maxi you are maximum outside opportunity maximum so we can say is a good good you know the way we can move further st is a maxi mini so you have to minimize the threats to avail your set uh, you can approach it your strength can overcome the the threads, you know, because maybe you can do mergers or acquisition or these, you know, which we can look at. Okay, so then can be a situation, WO, your area, maybe you're not having knowledge, maybe we can start partnership, making to avail the opportunity. So that can be mini maxi approach. You have to minimize your weaknesses to overcome the opportunity. And WT, which is mini mini, and we can't, you know, fight on the two. It's better to be avoid in that situation. Don't do the business or don't learn the product. Is that can be higher risk. Tangent in the SWOT analysis, long list of no attempt, the prioritization of a generalization, sweeping statement based on the bias, unbiased, you know, which we can substitute for the analysis. It's result which we can look at on other models as well. Developing the <clears throat> speedy capabilities, internal, uh, building, you know, and uh, recombining the capability. <laughs> capability means ability to do some things, yes, yeah? promote capability, leveraging, you know, capability, identify the capability as a part of the organization and transforming them. Other parts, you know, which we can look at and sketching capabilities is building the new product, you know, the services out of existing. So developing strategic capabilities, we can look around the external capability that come from outside adding the capability through the mergers, acquisition, alliance, seizing the capability, non-activity that can be stopped, outsourced, reduce the cost and monitor output and the benefit of each, you know. The awareness of development, uh, recognizing, you know, energy, uh, enhancing the strategy, training, development in an organization way of diagnosing, you know, organization capability. Benchmark, which we can look around, we have one other model is called value reality, intimidability and um, okay so we can look around these you know capabilities strategic capability is a tool to evaluate you know and contribute the competitive advantage value chain 
portal value chain model we can look around primary and secondary activities activity mapping means you know identifying more details activities cd capability and we can do the swot analysis as well which we just have bcd metric bcd is given by the boston consultant group in some product can be star some product can be cash cows which is mean you know relatively high market shares and high market growth which we can look around for so high market shares and high market growth if you have that can be start if you have a high market growth but low market shares that can be cash cows and question mark is the low market shares uh, and the high market growth either you keep it you know or you invest more money to turn them into star or cash cow and the dogs, it's low market shares and the low market growth is better to be phase out those products. So these are good start the business, you know, which is the high market shares in the growing uh, market and the question mark is the market, you know, growing but does not yet, you know, have a high market shares and the cash cows is the unit high market shares in the mature market and the dock is the product unit that has the low market shares static declining market and the problem with the bcg is definition weakness and capital exemption motivation and self-fulfillment and ignoring and then we can look around the quarter five forces uh, which is thread of the new entrance high low medium uh, bargaining power and we have to draw the barriers yes so always good to be look around how we can draw the barriers because you know that's our come <clears throat> those threads supplier power in the thread of substitute product is a high low medium and competitive revival in the industry how much we have that's we can and then you can look around the quiz and please always good to be look around csr corporate social responsibilities except is the concept where the uh, companies voluntarily decide, you know, the respect, protect, interest on the board range of the stakeholders and contribute, you know, the cleaner environment, better society through active interaction with all. Okay, corporate social responsibility, pollution, waste, chemical use, avoid excessive packaging. So these which we can look around, excess packaging, and create you know the problem uh, social responsible policies has become you know more common organization to develop uh, communicate you know socially responsible policy and these focus on the organization responsibility to mean minimize, minimize the negative impact on society and environment as a whole and ultimately you know this brings we can also focus on the marketing mix product price promotion that's you know you have to balance it product that's you know meet and the power have satisfy and it's not uh, damage you know environment price is you know fair trade and promotion be honest and telling the truth and place it need to be convenience and the premises choosing and csr corporate social responsibility place communicate all the implies through effective internal marketing and sustainability meeting the needs of current generation without compromising the needs of the future generation which will need to be we have to care about people, we have to care about planet, and we have to care about, you know, profit. If you don't do the balanced equation, it's very difficult to sustain in a business. So sustainability is what is good for the company, is also good for the planet and vice versa. Business has the negative impact, overall impact on the environment, which we need to be look around. Sustainability business is one, you know, that's a rate which we can look around and promoting sustainability, you know, the using the packaging, using the renewable switching and creating another you know, the value for the customer. We have we can look around the company of your choice, the Marks and Spencer plan. Uh, if sustainability is the key ingredients of the business, success as it's enable our business to become more efficient and develop new market and loyalty, which we need to be pressure group. We have a lot of, you know, them every lots and helps, you know, which is like so Tesco and all pressure groups, you know, I have uh, taken the positive, you know, action again, the organization that perceived to be damaging the environment pressure group. <clears throat> Focus on the green, you know, green is quite good. We can look around, lobbied against, you know, 
have not in some cases you know taken direct and damaging action against them anyone any question please guys anyone any question uh, those are listening or uh, if you have any question please you can drop me email and you at youtubers.co.uk and shall logo sometime yes so we have to look around the csr not really uh nestle online uh protests yes drive you know nestle environmental friendly um food joint that's you know their policies looking toward and then we have to look around sustainability uh fair trade triple bottom line profit planet and people really we focus marketing mix uh we discuss about four p's profit planning people and uh place and we can extended version is seven p we can look around the processes people and physical evidence corporate social responsibility uh of course you know we need to be meet the corporate social responsibility of the organization toward the environment which we have to and in this lesson we have look you know the range of issues can be classified as a social chain and we have considered the matters of demographic chain some feel is the biggest you know influence of the business environment within these you know changes the matter of growing aging population is largely worldwide phenomena regard of the push and pull factors immigration migration across you know the globe increasing the diversity and bringing you know both challenges and opportunities and we also been seeing you know how the business is increasing and having focus upon responsibility wider than the making profit and csr is calling on the businesses to meet the needs of the all the stakeholders in a way that is ethical and we saw the example how the financial sector this particularly has been instrument in and the result of the financial scandal we have globes and impact on the section of society we have look you know some examples of the range of countries impact on the stress and drivers themselves and changing and what is one country and others and what matters and globalization we discuss you know and we can learn from each other's experience and we can promote the sustainability okay so that's we have and then guys if you want to explore more uh, we can write csr and next to that if you write the word kaplan so you can find the chapter of the book you know kaplan is a publisher and it's quite good to be what is csr here yeah. and that's you we can and we can do swat if you want to yes the model you can see yeah. so you can look around the swat analysis for various businesses and it's quite good tool to and explore how we can see yeah. and this a lot of you know is being summarized what we can do here and then we discuss about bcg so you can write here bcg and look around the growth matrix uh, boston consultant growth matrix is yeah, quite good to start out the lot of you know samples bcg is good to look around and then we discuss unsaf matrix i mentioned you which we can look around unsaf which is a gor unsaf those uh, russian mathematician moving to us and gave the product, this you know matrix existing product as this marki new product so market penetration product development market development and diversification strategy we can adopt based on our environment and looking at the trends and the weaknesses and that was all you know from i am anyone any question please before we finish so thank you and have a nice time hope i'll speak to you during next lesson We'll do assignment discussion. Thank you. Bye bye.